there and welcome to an all new Melanie's Muses where it's all TV talk all the time. New videos coming to you every Monday so if you haven't clicked that subscription button yet, what are you waiting for? Click now and never miss a video. Melanie's Muses is proud to be a Telfy partner channel so whatever you are watching, including this video, make sure you check in on the app, share to social media and who knows when you'll unlock an exclusive sticker. Today's Melanie's Muses, I want to talk about streaming. The way we've watched TV over the years has certainly changed. I remember back in the day that if you wanted to watch a whole series of something, you had to make sure you tuned in, same bat time, same bat channel, every week. Then along came the VCR and people, if you were organized and you could figure out the controls, started recording shows. So you'd end up with a big collection of tapes and you could go back and watch them to your heart's content. And then we moved on and shows started to come out on DVD. And then along came Netflix and revolutionized everything. At first, Netflix was sort of like a blockbusters to your door kind of deal. You picked a selection from the DVDs and they sent you a DVD, you watched the DVD, you sent it back, you got the next DVD that was available on your list. Sometimes it wasn't necessarily the next DVD in your queue, or depending what everybody else had out. And then, all of a sudden, movies started to become available online. You could literally log on to Netflix and watch a movie immediately. Pick a movie, watch a movie. And then they added TV shows, and that changed everything. Now, of course, Netflix is pretty much a part of everybody's vocabulary. And since then, there are more streaming sites that have popped up. Obviously, you have Hulu, and that started off as more of a way to catch up on recent television shows. They had the most recent episodes for a lot of the channels on there so that you could subscribe, go in and watch those. Amazon Prime, they have popped up with their video service. Now, I was really late to Amazon Prime. I've had Amazon Prime for shipping for years, but I only discovered the video side of it and the TV series side of it probably about a year ago. So yeah, I was really late to the party then. And now there's even more. TV channels have their own subscription thing. CBS, for example, is one of the main channels that has an app that you pay for. You pay to stream and have access to all of their shows. They don't sort of participate with Netflix, Hulu, any of those. If you like a CBS show, you pretty much have to get the CBS app and pay for that, which I don't do. I watch CBS on the TV and I'm done with it. If I, if I miss it, I miss it, so be it. There are of course loads of streaming sites you can subscribe to. There are more specialist sites. I subscribe to Acorn TV, mainly for Murdoch Mysteries, but that has all British TV on it, all British TV all the time like Melanie's Muses on TV all the time, but this is all British TV. There are horror ones. I know there's Shudder that's popping up all the time in my suggestions of things that I should add, but I'm adding another subscription, so it's not happening right now. But now these streaming apps, you're not just catching up on TV series and things like that. They have their own originals. It started with the Netflix originals, and there was one or two. Now there are loads. Hulu started doing their own originals. Some of the Hulu original series, absolutely fantastic. And Hulu picked up series from mainstream TV. They picked up the Mindy Project, which was on TV, got canceled. Hulu scooped it up, now has it as a Hulu original. Fantastic. The downside to all of this, apps are starting to sort of pit themselves against each other. CBS has jumped on the original bandwagon. There are some CBS spin-offs. The Brother had a spin-off. The Good Wife had a spin-off that you could only get if you subscribe to the CBS streaming app. Obviously the originals, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime originals, you can only get those if you have the subscription to those apps. But what about the main shows? Netflix recently put up a little video saying it was goodbye to sci-fi. They are getting rid of Firefly, Buffy, Angel, Roswell, some of these main shows that have been on there to stream for as long as I can remember. I've watched them on there over and over. A little bit of research shows they are actually going to be available on Hulu. I'm not sure if they're going to be available anywhere else, but the companies are starting to bid against each other. Downton Abbey, for example, was on Netflix for one season. You can still get the DVDs, but if you want to stream it, you have to stream that on Amazon Prime. Doctor Who. Doctor Who used to be on Netflix and Hulu, and now that is all on Amazon Prime. They lost the streaming rights to that because they only have a contract for so long. So what does that mean for us, the viewers? Well, 
if you have subscriptions to everything, you're all set. Just flick through, it's bound to be on one of them. But if you only have one, but how do you choose? Are you looking for the new show? Do you follow the shows you love? I saw loads of comments on the Netflix post about Buffy and Firefly saying, that's it, I'm done, I'm getting rid of my Netflix subscription. I know a lot of people left Netflix and Hulu when Doctor Who was taken off of there. Tell me viewers, who would you choose? If you could only pick one, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, any of the other streaming sites, who would you pick? Maybe you only have one now. Maybe you don't have any of them now. Wow, well, I don't know which one I would pick. Probably Netflix, no Hulu. No Amazon. Oh my goodness, I can't choose. I love all of them. I have shows that I watch all the time on all of them and I love their original series, so I watch their original series. Wow, that would be really, really tough. Let's hope they don't put the prices up too much. That'd be awful. And that's it. I think that sums up pretty much everything I wanted to say about streaming. Obviously, it is something that happens a lot in this house, so I wanted to share my thoughts on that, and I would love to hear what you think. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. Remember to do all the fun YouTube things, like comment and subscribe. Check in on Telfy. Unlock your exclusive Melanie's Muses stickers. And I will see you back here next week for an all-new episode. Bye!